Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. This is Steve. This is an addendum to my review of the Arma Hobby PZLP.7A. And uh, what I discovered after watching my video uh, with my 4K cameras getting in really close, I noticed that there's some uh, short shots going on with this kit. And just with the uh, one part specifically, but it's so minor that you may not even notice it until you start assembling this. The other part of this is I want to show you how uh, the sprue attachments are intrusive and you're really going to have to do a little more work to get uh, pieces to go together. So that's what's going to happen with this video here real quickly. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Now, now the short shots were only present on this kit. I did not see it on the Hurricane Mark 1 and Mark 2 reviews I did. Also with the Fokker, uh, I didn't see any short shots with that. But if you look here on the sprue gates, you can see that there's plastic holes within the gate. And those are from those right there, which those are, those are uh, ejection pin gates that uh, are pretty large and they help protect the kit when you look at it. So that should be an indicator that you might see some short shots on your parts. So for example, this tree right here, because they gave us two trees of the same kit, this one didn't really show it as much. I'll bring over the other tree. And like I said, it's very minor, but if you look on the wing there near the where the sprue attachment is, you'll see a little indent. And you probably wouldn't even notice that until you start putting your parts together. Right there. So there's a tiny short shot from that. And of course, this wasn't short shot. And I looked all around and I noticed there on your kit markings, they're short shot there too, but that's not going to affect the kit. So I'll go ahead and cut these off, the sprue, and show you what I'm talking about there. Go ahead and put these two wings together. I did clean them up just a little bit, but I want to show you how they go together if you don't clean them up. Now there's no alignment pins for these. If you look underneath, Really going to have to sand that down. Of course, sand down the upper surface of the wing where they're attached. There are alignment pins, so I stand corrected. There's two, one on each side. And the fit really isn't that bad. This is the one with the short shot on the wing. So there's your short shot on the wing, just right there. Right there. Go ahead and cut off the fuselage.
So without trimming off all the excess, I'm going to fit these together. And fit looks very good there. And there too. So you can see the cleanup you need to do there. But there's not much details that could be lost. There is a small panel line on each side that runs. So you'd have to be careful with that. And same with the, the seam work. But very good there. And that was just a quick video on how hobby manufacturers can short shot their kits. And it's not just Arma Hobby that does it. Ravel, Monogram, Italiere do it. For example, the 148 scale P61 Black Widow from Monogram, they did short shoot a lot of the clear parts in that kit. So if you're a collector and you've never opened up your box, you'll be surprised that you may have one of your canopies in there short shot. And what do you do, right? Same thing with uh, Etaillery Ray. I was building the North American PBJ-1D 172nd Navy Bomber and one half of the fuselage was short shot. So it happens with all the other manufacturers and I just wanted to show you an example here so you know what to look for when you uh, start inspecting your kits. And with this, I also showed you how the fitment of this kit goes and how the sprues are attached to the parts. Very minor cleanup and you're on your way. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Smash that like button. Happy modeling everybody and take care.